Hi guys, this is Killing77, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we imprisoned the imprisoned. Again, for the second time. And uh, we were able to activate the Gate of Time, and now we're back in the, uh, the, um, uh, you know, the, the Sealed Grounds Temple. But it's different, Mish, I guess. I mean, hey. Oh, well, I guess not. I don't know. But we have Impa here. Yay, hi Impa. Hey. At last, I've been expecting you, Link. You are doubtless overwhelmed, uh, so I will explain things as simply as I can. Where's Zelda? This is the Temple of Hylia, though it will come to be known as the Sealed Temple sometime in the future. Okay, cool. You stand in the past, ages before your own time. Here, the goddess Hylia has only just sealed away Demise. Demise? Okay. And a little time has passed since uh, the goddess sent the outcropping of rock into the sky that would one day become Skyloft. Okay. It is true to its name. You have passed through the gate of time to an era in the distant past. You will have many questions, but for now you must proceed back through the great doors behind you. Okay. It is there that the person you've raised life and blood to defend waits for you. Alright, Zelda? Awesome! Well, um, nothing's really new here, but what happens if you sit? Anything? New, nothing. Normally they bug you about stuff in the future, but I guess she's pretty laid back in the past. Um, I don't think we can actually go out this way. Let's see. No, I don't think so. Oh, well. Any treasure back here? No. There were treasures here earlier. Why didn't you even set anything aside for us? You know, Impa. Jeez. There's a stool. Thank you. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go in here. Zelda? Girlfriend. Oh, man. You've come so far, Link. I'm glad you made it. Oh, yeah? We, we're, we are friends, right? I imagine Impa filled you in on everything. We've traveled very far from home to the distant past. In this era, the wounds inflicted on the land during the battle between the goddess and the demon king, known as Demise, have not yet healed. Huh. All the fairy tales about that war we heard growing up in Skyloft, incredible as it may seem, they appear to be all too real. Of course, awesome music. I think it's time you learn the whole story. Let me try to explain. The old gods created a supreme power that gave anyone who possessed it the ability to shape reality and fulfill any desire. They called it the Triforce. In his thirst to make the world of his own, Demise readied a massive army of monsters for war. He sought to take the Triforce for himself by force. The goddess was feared for her people. She used her power to send both them and the Triforce into the sky on a slice of earth she cut away from the land. This floating rock became the new home of our people. In time, it came to be known as Skyloft. After a long and fierce battle, the goddess Hylia succeeded in sealing away Demise. However, soon after the Demon King was imprisoned, it became clear that the seal would not hold long against his fearsome power. Hylia had suffered grave injuries in her battle with the Demon King. She knew that if he broke free again, there would be no stopping him. And if the Demon King were to free himself, it would mean the end of the world for all beings of this land. In order to put an end to the Demon King, Hylia devised two separate plans and set them both into motion. Say what? First, she created Phi. She made the spirit that resides in your sword to serve a single purpose, to assist her chosen hero on this mission. Her second plan was to abandon her divine form and transfer her soul to the body of a mortal. She made this sacrifice, as you have likely guessed, so that the supreme power created by the gods could one day be used. For a while, uh, the supreme power of the Triforce was created by gods. All of its power can never be wielded by one. Knowing this power was her last and only hope, the goddess gave up her divine powers and her immortal form. You've probably figured it out by now, haven't you, Link? You are the chosen hero. And I, Zelda... No, you don't mean. I am the goddesses reborn as a mortal. Oh, man. Who'd have thought? 
all this time we 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 were we were doing stuff with the goddess awesome the day of the ceremony Girahim's tornado tossed me out of the sky and down to the world below I was nearly captured by the demonic force but I was rescued at last at the last moment by the old woman who lives in the seal grounds I had no memory at all of my existence as Hylia, but she explained it to me. She helped me to remember who I was and what I had to do. What's up, Impa? I set out to pray at the goddess's statues located in each temple across the land. Each statue stirred up memories within me. After I visited them all, Impa, an ancient of the goddess, led me here to the past. All of this is part of the same great effort to prevent the revival of demise. Stripped of his true physical form by the seal that binds him, he takes the shape of an abomination. But even in his city estate, he's more than capable of devouring this land if we allow him to do what he desires. We must stop him from freeing himself from the seal that imprisons him at any cost. That is why I intend to remain here in this time and place to sustain the seal as best as I can. As long as I can continue this vigil, we will, or we may, be able to prevent the Demon King from fully reviving himself in our own time. <laughs> I must maintain the seal that Hylia, rather, that I created so long ago, and keep it strong, for as I am able. Oh no. With the memories of a f my former life returning to me, I can see now that this is my purpose. Oh, we spent so hard trying to get you, though. Come back with us. Link, the goddess created Phi and the great blade she's a part of, for very specific reasons. For the task of standing against demise and the monstrous form he now assumes rests soily, soily, <laughs> solely on your shoulders. Back in our own time, you've already driven him back into his prison twice now. I can't thank you enough for that, Link. <laughs> your face. Oh boy. During your long journey, you've grown so much. You learned wisdom from solving devious puzzles and traps. You gain power by honing and tempering both yourself and your sword. By overcoming the trial set before you by the goddess, you've found true courage. Now let those qualities reside in you. You are worthy of wielding the power the old gods left behind for our kind. You can claim the Triforce. Valiant hero, you have endured many hardships and traveled far in your quest to reach this place. Along your travels, you have found wisdom, power, and courage, and for this I shall bless your sword with the goddess's power. May it give you and your sword the strength to drive back the abomination that threatens this land. Alright. But at what cost? The mark you see upon the back of your hand is proof that you are the hero of legend and that within you dwells sacred power. I thought it was just a kick-ass tattoo. It is the mark of the Triforce. Oh, okay. Stand now, Link. Draw your sword. The goddess has blessed your blade, and the Master Sword has at last achieved its ultimate form. The sword is now imbued with a mystical power to drive back demons, and only Link may wield it. This is known as the True Master Sword, the final upgrade for the sword, and yeah, it's awesome. Link, before I say another word, I feel like I owe you an apology. You see, the mark of the Triforce on your hand is a symbol of the greatest power in this world. If you can obtain the actual Triforce, we will have the power to vanquish Demise once and for all. The problem is, among the countless souls in this world, only a select few, those with an unbreakable spirit, can wield its might. It's impossible to know the true reason why the gods created the Triforce, but I have a theory of my own. The gods created the Triforce, yet they specifically designed it so that their own kind could never use its power. Somehow, I think that may have been their way of giving hope to all the moral beings of the land. Which brings us back to you. The face said uh, demise and give the land hope. The goddess Hylia needed someone with an unbreakable spirit. That someone is you, Link. But spirit alone wasn't enough. You had to overcome many trials and awaken the hero within yourself so that you could wield that supreme power. And so Hylia, 
mean and so I. I knew that if it meant saving Zelda, you would throw yourself headfirst into any danger without even a moment's doubt. What are you talking about? You are Zelda. I... I used you. No, we would do anything for you. I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am for pulling you into all this, Link. But you have to understand, this is war, and the fate of the land hangs in the balance. I need your strength to tip the scales in our favor. We would do anything to help you. You may... You, you might think you're a vessel, but to us, you'll, you'll always be, you know, a part of us. Oh, that may be well-intentioned and true, but it doesn't mean it's right, and it doesn't excuse my actions. But I'm prepared to pay the price for what I've done. What do you mean? To ensure that the seal holds, I will remain here in this time, deep in sleep for thousands of years. No, come back with us. Please don't. Don't do it, please. Link, I can't say it enough. I'm so sorry for the way I had to involve you in this. But until my memory of things before our lifetime had returned to me, I had no idea we were fated to carry such a heavy destiny. Before all this, I was happy just spending my days hanging around with you and Skyloft. I wanted that feeling to last forever. <laughs> No. While it's true that I am highly reborn, I'm still my father's daughter and your friend. I'm still your Zelda. When Demise is finally gone, there will be no more need for the seal that binds him, and then I'll be able to wake up. So I'm going to ask you a favor, sleepyhead. <laughs> Ever since we were kids, I'd always been the one to wake you up when you slept in. But this time, when all of this is over, will you come to wake me up? I promise I will. There's no wrong answer. Don't go, please. No. Wake up. Please wake up, Zelda. Don't leave me. It's pure hopelessness he feels. I feel so bad for him. This scene is really, really awesome. I really like this game just because of this one scene. I mean, you've seen him just like in other games, sad, and he, you have, you know, you feel some hopelessness sometimes, but this scene just draws it out perfectly. Oh, man. Will we ever see her again? I don't know. We'll just have to find out. What can we do to wake her up? Give us some answers, Impa. That'd be nice. Desperateless. <laughs> so desperate, Link, but Well, let's let's talk to her. What do you have to say? I see you've said goodbye. Now you must keep the promise you made to her. You must find the Triforce. Return to your time. There's work to be done there. Do not fear for Zelda. I will watch over here here. Go now, fulfill your destiny. Alright, we'll do it. Let's go. Man, it's hard. <laughs> Poor Link. Well, we're back, but hopefully nothing bad has happened while well, we've been gone. So you've returned. Yeah. Then you know everything. On the other side of that gate, Zelda waits, suspended in a sleep without end. But do not despair, for she is still alive and well. Oh, okay. That's good. True to legend, the Triforce is the one thing with the power to vanquish demise. It is thought to have been hidden within Skyloft by the goddess. Sadly, that is all we know of where it is, where it rests. All other clues to its whereabouts have been lost to the ages. Link, you have lightly come to the same conclusion, but I will spell it out just the same. The key to try finding the Triforce must be in Skyloft. Go now, Link. Find the Triforce. Whoa, whoa, there, hold up. Way to break it, jeez. Breaking a good time, Groosh. Right. Link, there's something I gotta tell you. What's up? What? Uh. 
So... Zelda, how's she holding up? Is she okay when you saw her? Actually... Well, it's terrible. It's gotta be so hard for the poor girl. But you're gonna do something about this mess, right? <laughs> Link, I've made up my mind. I'm not going back. Okay. I'm saying right here with Granny. <laughs> oh, don't look so bummed out. Do I look sad? No, I'm doing what I want to do. I don't know how to explain it. I got this feeling in my belly that there's work to do here. Someone's got to watch that big, ugly monster, and someone's got to make sure Granny's doing all right. And it's action-packed is what you're doing, but maybe this is my destiny. Know what I mean? Besides, it's not so bad here. Living up in the sky was okay, I guess, but don't you just love the way it smells down here? What? Is this all weird to say? I don't know. Forest is awesome. Check it out. Zelda and Granny may have brought life back to the land here. I bet even the weakest sapling could grow into one beast of a tree in soil like this. It'd brighten this place up a little too. I mean, sure, it'd take a few years for it to grow, but as far as I'm concerned, I got nothing but time. It's weird to say out loud, but that's just how I feel right now. So yeah, you know, when you get back to Skyloft, do me a favor and let people know I'm doing okay down here. Colin and Stretch must, uh, might be a little emotional since they look up to me, but you tell them I'm happy, okay? Thanks, Link. We'll do that. Alright. So, let's uh, check out our new sword. If you do a Skyward Strike, it's way faster and it goes, or, you know, the, the charge time is way faster and it goes way farther. We're going to be using this to our advantage. So, um, why don't we head on outside? It's sex, I think that's the wrong place, but okay. We're going to go ahead and head on outside. Now, uh, they, uh, I think Fi might leave us a hint in a second. I mean, you know, she was talking, they were talking about unbreakable spirits and all that, so. Alright, uh, there should be a goddess statue hanging out somewhere here. Um, it's, uh, oh, I think I know where, okay, yeah, you gotta go up here to find it. Oh, uh, I probably should have, um, you know. Well, anyway, alright, you know what, what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna go find a goddess cube. Yeah, kind of breaking the tension here, but we want to get a goddess cube. I want to do it before I forget. So I'm gonna meet you guys in the Elden Volcano. I'll uh, be right back. All right, guys. So I'm over here in the volcano, and uh, this is where you know that goddess cube is hanging out. So now, since we have a powered up sword, we can actually reach this goddess cube. Uh, I think we can. Come on. I'm pretty sure we can, because we just smacked it. Yeah, there we go. I've read that you can actually hit it if you're, like, standing, like, you know, if you don't have an upgraded sword. You can hit it, you know, from here or somewhere in, like, this area. Uh, I've tried, and I haven't figured out how to do it, so I just recommend that, you know, you get that, um, you just, you get the upgrade and you come back and get the goddess cube. So, uh, instead of leaving the area, however, I actually want to come over here. Because, um, there's a hole that we can actually dig into now that we have the magma mint. Or the magma, uh, yeah, magma mints, I guess. Um, so, uh, over here, oh, not here. Uh, over here is a hole that we dug, but we can't really do much with. So let's, uh, go down here. And what could we possibly find down here, eh? Well, let's hurry it up along first. And come on over here. Alright. So we have, um, let's see, what are, where are we? Yeah, over here. This is, uh, you know, next piece of heart, and you need the Mongmets to get it. So, uh, let's go ahead and collect. Alright, you got a piece of heart. Collect four to increase your heart. Two more to go. Alright, so we have two more heart containers before we've maxed out our hearts. So, uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna meet you guys in the sky next to where the goddess treasure is. So, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, so the next goddess cube is in this area over here. And you need the Mogamets to get this. Now, I've already dug in here to um, uh, try to tackle something that's in there. Uh, you don't have to fight him, but, well, he's here, and he regenerates tails. So, let's smack him in the butt. There we go. And we can just avoid him if we need to. I actually came in here earlier, and I'm like, hey, where's, 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 where's the thingy? Well, it's, it's pretty well hidden, actually, if you don't really look. Because if you notice, hey, there's one over here that we can't get to. But you'd think, oh, but we're supposed to be in the right area, Mary. You have to search around somewhere else. No, if you look up here, there, uh, wait, what? I keep seeing, uh, I know that there's a goddess cube here somewhere. Maybe I need to dig in a different place. Let's see, um, 
Oh, maybe we have to kill this guy because, um, you know, I, I keep seeing a goddess cube, but nothing's really going on. Let's see, let's kill him. Maybe that'll unveil the exit. No! A new. All right, let's uh, look over here. Man, I'm just like lost in this one here. This one's tricky to find. No, maybe I'm just being an idiot. Yeah, I think we have to go through this entrance. There are more than one entrance. Yeah, here we go. All right, man. I guess we just took the wrong one. All right, so let's open this guy up. See if it's worth it. All righty, so do we get it? Yeah, we get the final empty bottle uh, with all sorts of useful things. All right, your patch is full. So I checked. I didn't check. Okay, cool. Alrighty, um, we're actually gonna end it off here, so, um, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, guys, you have an awesome day, and I hope you take care.